We've never done this kind of a story before, but Bob Collimo's recent demise got us thinking about some important lessons that many of us can adopt to leave great legacies. Without taking too much time, let's get into this. Robert, aka Bob Collimo, lived his life to the fullest. He started working for money at the age of 12, and his first real job was at the age of 16 when he was working in a departmental store in the UK. Bob rose up the ranks from his earlier time at British Telecom to become the CEO of Safaricom, Kenya's leading telco. When he passed on on the 1st of July 2019, lots of Kenyans celebrated his life and were saddened by the loss of an awesome and inspiring leader. In this video, we explain some of the reasons why Bob Collimo was a greatly celebrated leader in Kenya and at the same time what we can learn from that. Please remember to subscribe to our channel to get more engaging and inspiring content as we continue to post. The first lesson that we can learn is leading by example. You've probably heard this a lot of time. Trust me, it's not a cliche. It is a time-proven strategy. Bob led by example, and as eulogized by former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, he was an example of how a good life can be led. Imagine you are the CEO of a company with over 5,500 employees with an estimated employee turnover, aka resignation rate of 10% meaning you have at least 550 new employees joining the company every year. And this is approximately 45 new employees every month. You would never bother to meet each one of them. On the contrary, this is what made Bob such a great leader. During his time at Safaricom, Bob made the plans to meet every new employee during the induction period, of course when his busy schedule allowed, and gave a short speech to welcome them to the company and share more about the values of Safaricom. Another great example of leading by example is back in 2015, when during a time when CEOs of private companies were urged to stand against corruption and join Kenyan politicians in declaring their wealth, Bob Collimo was the first CEO to declare his wealth. He declared a personal net worth of 271 million Kenya shillings and his monthly salary of approximately 9 million shillings. The second lesson we can learn from Bob is that we should value humanity and strive to make the world a better place. This is exactly what Bob did. One of Bob's famous quotes was that selling airtime has no value if the world is not a better place. Bob was very vocal about making Kenya a better country, and he was part of the B team where he played a huge role in advancing and championing equality in the workplace and ensuring that businesses played a role in making the world better. He was also very vocal around business leaders challenging status quo to build trust and stand up for human rights. Bob's last tweet before his demise was one where he said that he had signed a petition to demand criminalization of rape in Senegal, and this showed his support to end gender-based violence. As Jeff Koinange would put it, what a man. The third thing that we can learn from Bob is that humility does not make you a dwarf, it makes you a giant. Everyone in life has a weakness, and Bob Colimo openly spoke of his. One of the things that Bob never hid was the fact that he never had a college degree. He was very open about this and how he used personalized learning in place of a college degree to better himself and build his career. This message was powerful, especially when he gave talks in colleges and universities. Even in an interview after coming back from treatment in the UK, Bob was asked what was the most stupid thing he had done in his time as CEO of Safaricom and he proudly mentioned that as a human, he had done many stupid things every day. One other important aspect of humility was seen in Bob Colimo's wedding and sadly in his funeral as well. In both occasions, the dressing was simple but elegant and he only invited his most loyal friends. For a man of his stature, you would expect a grand ceremony worth millions of shillings. However, Bob only did a simple wedding that did not break the bank. Even his funeral is supposedly said to have cost less than 300,000 shillings, far less than what most African funerals cost. The fourth thing that we can learn from Bob is to have a close set of friends. Bob had a boys club that included radio and TV journalist Jeff Koinange, KCB CEO Joshua Igara, Rich Management CEO Ali Kansachu, Scan Group CEO Barat Taka, former Gatanga MP Peter Kenneth, Radio Africa CEO Patrick Kwako, and former Stanchard CEO Lamin Majan. The famous boys club had lots of personalities who being competitors in business would not necessarily sit on one table. However, the fact that they met up several times a month shows the huge value in keeping close friends. Before Bob died, the boys club had a meeting where he asked for their support and help to take care of his family when he is not there. 
One question you should ask yourself is can you count on your friend to take care of the family when you are gone? The last lesson that we can learn from Bob is to invest on what makes you happy. Being a helicopter pilot is an expensive hobby, just as mine is creating the videos that you enjoy on this channel. Remember to subscribe to show your support to me. In an interview several years back, Bob mentioned that he enjoyed flying helicopters, and in fact, that is how he spent most of his money. Bob once piloted Peter Kenneth, a member of the boys club, on a trip to Lamo. This was Bob's hobby, and he was willing to invest in it, both in terms of time and money. Think about your own hobby. What do you enjoy doing? And when was the last time you invested in it? Thank you very much for watching this video. And we sincerely hope that you will subscribe to our channel to get more similar videos. And leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video or a thumbs down if you didn't. Don't worry, we can handle it. Goodbye and see you soon.